five unique gourmand fragrances. That is what I'm going over with everybody today. How is it going? Bradley back with the channel Triple Ink. And just like I said, five unique gourmand fragrances is what I have lined up for you in this video. So let's start off with what a gourmand fragrance actually is. So a gourmand fragrance is a fragrance that smells edible. Like you could literally just uh, eat it, take a bite out of it. And I'm also including drinkable fragrances, fragrances that you just want to take a nice swig of as well. Now I find gourmand fragrances quite unique already in their own right because there are not a lot of things in perfumery out there that just smell like literal food, like you just want to eat them and just smell super delicious. And I have five very different and very unique picks for you today. And let me just say gourmand fragrances usually have this rap for being like, oh they're super heavy only for the winter time, so I'm like chocolatey cake and are just super sugary. But I also have some that I'm going to show you that are very suitable for the warmer weather as well and all these crazy different unique picks. Don't want to miss it. Stay tuned. It's coming right up. So let's get this list rolling with easily the most popular, I would say, of this entire list, especially from this house. This is from the House of Hermes. This is Ombre Narguile. So this fragrance was composed by Jean-Claude Elena, probably one of my favorite perfumers of all time, and he really is known for doing uh, these twists on fragrances. So it takes like a traditionally heavy or very sweet gourmand fragrance, like this one, and he kind of flips the script on it and makes it very light and transparent. He is very well known for making these transparent fragrances. And that was so cool and so unique because this is smells pretty much like a cinnamon bun or apple pie, fresh out of the oven. It is absolutely delicious, very sugary, very spicy with the cinnamon and sweet. It has doughy breaded quality that a cinnamon bun actually has and is absolutely delectable and delicious every time I smell this I just want to take a bite I mean I'm not joking it smells awesome and this one is definitely unique because it has this transparent quality it's not super heavy like some other gourmand fragrances it almost has this lightness and this transparency and this translucency to it as well which I find absolutely really really good so if you want a very unique gourmand fragrance that smells like cinnamon buns this is a great one to check out all right anybody thirsty hmm this is a fragrance that I would say smells like a drink, and I'm also including very drinkable fragrances in this gourmand list, and this is the only one that I have to show you from the house of Guerlain. This is Guerlain Ohm. So this is definitely known for smelling like a mojito. This has a very nice mojito accord in here. It has rum, some vetiver, lime, and also of course mint. All these things make this smell like a super refreshing mojito cocktail. Really just transports you to the summertime if you're on the beach or something like that. Super, super refreshing. Also worn in spring. So this is a very nice gourmand drinkable fragrance. So if you just want to smell like a light, refreshing mojito in the summer and springtime. Great for hot weather. This is an awesome, awesome mojito scent to check out. Okay, next up, let's go with a niche pick from the house of By Killian. I have recently just been discovering this house and really, really liking a lot of their offerings. This is called Intoxicated. So very quickly, this will remind you of Thierry Mugler's Amen. It has a signature coffee, kind of patchouli DNA, even though there's no patchouli in here. But what it does have in here, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and coffee. It is definitely a soft, spicy fragrance, very sweet at the same time, but also has a dark edge due to the coffee note. And this is a coffee lover's dream. If you love coffee, you will love this fragrance. I'm not a big fan of coffee myself. I don't drink it too much. However, I might have to start after smelling this because it smells so good. The cardamom just has a beautiful, soft spiciness to it as well. The cinnamon in here, just a beautiful, beautiful gourmand, a little bit off of the beaten track, and definitely a very high quality ingredients in this one. So if you're looking for a very different coffee fragrance, this is an excellent, excellent pick from By Killian to go look at. Okay, I'm gonna switch things up again. Time to go into summer mode right here. This is known as the lemon meringue pie of the fragrance world. And I will have to buy myself a bottle of this because I'm running through my samples so quickly. This is Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. So yes, this does smell like a decadent lemon meringue pie. I did a review of this back in the springtime and I've even grown to love this stuff more than I have during that review. This has vanilla in here, a little bit of pink pepper, of course the lemon note bergamot. It is very bright and fresh and zingy but also has the creamy base that you would associate with like the lemon pie. It's super decadent, super delicious, and I love this stuff. Works perfectly for the spring and the summertime. You can dress this up, dress it down. It has okay performance and okay projection as well, but it's just an irresistible gourmand for the warmer weather. This is definitely one of my top picks for sort of these gourmand warmer weather fragrances. And really, I can't name any other fragrance that does smell like a lemon pie. And the last pick that I had to show you for today, this one is definitely an oddball for me. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I know it is super unique and definitely pushing the boundaries of the gourmand fragrance game. This is from the house of Bond number 9. This is I Love New York For All. 
This is a unisex fragrance right here, and this has a very nutty accord in it, and that makes sense. It's nutty because it makes me go crazy when I smell it in a bad way, kind of, because also in the opening, this has bergamot and lily of the valley, which I definitely smell, and it has a very weird green chocolatey twinge. It smells kind of like floral chocolate, if that makes sense. Kind of weird to my nose. After time, it settles down. It has a beautiful warming cacao note in here. Also has this caramelized hazelnut known as Meranglaise in there. And it's super different and unique. You know, I've never really smelled a gourmand quite like this. So if you like chocolate fragrances and that have a very unique twinge to them, this is easily the most unique of this entire list. So those are my five unique gourmand fragrance picks. Let me know in the comments section down below what are some of your favorite gourmand fragrances that are edible that you'd like to take a bite out of or a drink out of. Tell me all about that in the comments down below. So that would be it for this video, I think. Yeah, subscribe to my channel and as well follow me on Instagram. And come back and visit this channel sometime soon for some more amazing, great fragrance content. Peace out.